Hello, let's solve this uh, mass Olympiad question. We're asked to solve for x in x to the power of 6 equal to x minus 1, the power of 6. We're asked to find the value of x. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics content. Now to solve this question, we are going to uh, consider bringing the values in the left hand side to the right hand side. So we are going to subtract both sides by x minus one to the power of six. So we're going to have that expression to now give us x to the power of six minus x minus one all to the power of six, and this is equal to zero. Now, from this expression, we're going to see that the value of uh, 6, which is the power, can be equal to 3 multiplied by 2, right? So, we're going to uh, expand that. If we expand that, we're going to have x to the power of 3 all squared minus, this would be x minus 1 to the power of 3 and all of these will be squared and this will be equal to 0. In the next step, we're going to expand this and I want you to recall an algebraic expression. If we have a square minus b square, you know this is a diff of 2 square. So we're going to have a plus b and then we'll have uh, a minus b, right? So if we apply that, you come to see that from that expression, our a is equal to x to the power of 3, and our b is equal to uh, x minus 1 all to the power of 3, right? So let's expand the expression. If we expand the expression, we're now going to have that expression to give us this block is going to give us x to the power of 3, right, plus x minus 1 to the power of 3, right, this is the first block. Then the other one, we're going to have x to the power of 3, right, x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 all to the power of 3, and this will be the second block, all will be equal to zero. So this expression is just similar to a zero product expression. So what we have is, from this expression, I can simply expand this to give me the value of my s cube plus x minus one cube, and all these would be equal to zero. And I can still have from his expression that my x cube minus my x minus one cube, and all these would be equal to zero. Great. Now in the next step, we are still going to apply an algebraic expression. And from that algebraic expression, we're going to use that to expand the first expression. If we use the algebraic expression to expand the first expression, recall this algebraic expression that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, right, can be equal to a plus b, right, on one side, and this can be multiplied by a square minus ab plus b square. Now, do you recall this? So we're going to use it to expand one of these expression. And that expression is going to be this. Because the cube is being held by a positive square, by a positive uh, uh, sign. So if we expand that, we're going to now have that expression to now give us, to solve the first one, we'll now have that expression to now give us Remember that uh, a, a is equal to x cubed, uh, our a is equal to x, and our b is equal to x minus 1. So we're going to have that expression to be x 
plus x minus 1, right? And this will be multiplied by x square minus x multiplied by b, which is x minus 1, right? Plus b square, which is x minus 1 square, and all these should be equal to 0 from the first expression. So if we simplify this first expression, we want to look for how to get the values of x. x plus, this is going to give us what? x minus 1. And this whole expression is going to give us x square minus x square plus x, right? While this is going to give us plus, if we expand that, that is going to give us x square minus 2x plus 1. And all these will be equal to 0. So from that expression, we'll come to see that this will simply clear this, right? And what are we left with? We are left with x square and x. And that expression is going to give us x plus x plus minus 1 and that will give us what this is going to give us x square minus x right plus 1 and all this will be equal to 0 so if i simplify this this is simply going to give me 2x minus 1 right because x plus x is equal to 2x and this is going to give me x square minus x plus 1 and this will be equal to 0. So simplifying this in the next step, I'll have this as a zero product rule. This will give me 2x equal to 1, right? Or equal to 0. And then we'll have our x square minus x plus 1 to be equal to 0, right? Because we'll have our 2x minus 1 to be equal to 0. So if we expand this, we're going to have this divided by 2 and this divided by 2. And what do we have? While this clears this, our x will be equal to 1 divided by 2. So the value of our x is 1 divided by 2. So we're going to use uh, the quadratic expression in solving this. But looking at this expression, you find out that we are simply going to get an imaginary uh, uh, result. Why? Because from this expression, we see that our A is equal to 1, our B is equal to negative 1, and our C is equal to 1. So if we we'll use a discriminant, we're going to find out that the discriminant will be b squared minus 4ac. So what do we have as our b? Our discriminant will be equal to negative 1 square, right, minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1. So the value of our discriminant a discriminant will be equal to negative, that will give us 1, right? One Negative 1 square is going to give us 1, right? 1 minus 4. And 1 minus 4, the discriminant is going to give us negative 3, which is less than what? 0. So that tells us that the solution is going to simply give us an imaginary solution and not real solution. So we're going to neglect this solution because we need a real solution. So the first value of our x is equal to 1 divided by 2. Now from the second expression, if we check the second expression, we're going to find out from the second expression, we have this expression so we're going to bring out these to find other values for x 
from that second expression, we have the value of uh, x, x to the power of three, of 3, right? x to the power of 3 minus x, recall, minus 1, and that is to the power of 3, and this is equal to 0. And that is what the second expression gives us. So we are going to simplify that second expression to find the value of x. We will simplify this still using that algebraic expression that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b, right? And this will be multiplied by a square, right? Plus a b plus b square because these two are negative. So if we use this expression, we're going to have considering that our a is equal to x and our b is equal to x minus 1. So what do we have? We we'll have that expression to now give us x minus x minus 1. And this said other one is going to give us x square plus x a b x multiplied by x minus 1, right? And that will give us plus x minus 1 or squared. And all these will be equal to 0. So if we expand this, x negative multiplied by positive x is going to give us uh, x that is going to give us negative x. Then minus times minus is going to give us plus 1. And that will be this. And when we expand this, this is going to give us x square. x times x is going to give us x square. Plus x minus x is going to give us negative x. And this is going to give us, if we expand this, is going to give us x square right x square minus 2x plus 1 and all these will be equal to 0 good now let's in the next step we'll expand this in order to find the value of x so if we expand this this is simply going to clear this and we'll be left with 1 and x square plus x square plus x square is going to give us 3x square right minus x minus 2x is going to give us minus 3x and we'll have plus 1 and all these will be equal to 0. now in the next step if one multiply everything in the bracket we're going to have this to be equal to 3x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. It's a quadratic equation. So if we solve that quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, I guess we are still going to have an imaginary expression. But I want you to solve this using the quadratic formula and tell us what the imaginary result is. But for now, we're going to find the discriminant. And the discriminant is going to be x squared minus 4ac. From that expression, uh, a is equal to 3, uh, b is equal to negative 3, and uh, c is equal to 1. So if we simplify this, we are going to have a discriminant to be equal to negative 3 all squared minus 4 multiplied by a which is 3 and multiplied by c which is 1. So the discriminant is going to be equal to negative 3 square is going to give us 9 minus 4 times 3 gives, gives us 12, right? So our discriminant will be equal to 9 minus 12 is going to simply give us negative 
3. A negative 3 is less than 0. So that means this expression is going to give us an imaginary solution. So I want you to tell us what that imaginary solution is and then drop it. Drop your comment in the comment section. Now you are going to see that we simply have only one solution. All the solution, the other solution is going to give us imaginary solution, but we have x equal to 1 divided by 2 as the only real solution. So what do we do? Let's test this for a real solution is actually the solution to that expression given to us. Let's insert the value of x equal to 1 divided by 2 into the original solution. The original solution is x to the power of 6 equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6. So x to the power of 6, will it be equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6 if x is equal to 1 divided by 2? Let's try it out. So we have the value of x to the power of 6. Will it be equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6 at x equal to 1 divided by 2? Let's see. This is going to give us 1 divided by 2 all to the power of 6 equal to 1 divided by 2 minus 1 all to the power of 6. So if we simplify this, what do we have? We're going to have this expression to now give us 1 divided by 2 to the power of 6, right? Equal to, if we simplify this, we're going to have this to become negative 1 divided by 2 because half minus 1 will still remain half. So we'll have this to be to the power of 6. So if we simplify this, we are simply going to have this side to be... 1 divided by 64, right? Equal to, uh, this is an even number. Since this is an even number, that tells us that the power of negative 2 is going to give us an even result. So that will give us 1 divided by 64. So you see, x equal to 1 divided by 2 is the solution to that expression given to us above here. So, our solution is absolutely right. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our channel for more mathematics solution. And don't forget to solve uh, the quadratic expression, the quadratic expression using the quadratic formula. Get the imaginary result, and let's know what your comment, your result is, in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.